In this video, I'm going to talk about the worldwide importance of disease. So first, let's look at some factors that influence the spread of disease. You have poverty. With poverty, poor health and poor housing is typically associated. Lack of shelter. With lack of shelter, you will be exposed outside all the time with other people. Poor nutrition. A bad diet could weaken your immune system. Inadequate health services. The country you're in might not have the right equipment or the right staff to support your needs. This could be related to lack of government interest. The government might not be pumping in enough money and putting enough focus towards disease. Inadequate education means people are not educated enough on disease and do not take the right precautions to prevent them from getting these diseases. Malaria kills 3 million people a year. 300 million people are currently affected worldwide. The female Onopheles mosquito is limited to tropical areas. That means malaria is limited to tropical areas. However, with climate change, it will soon be spreading up north and south. HIV and AIDS is a worldwide pandemic, spreading rapidly. At the end of 2005, there were 45 million people affected. It's most common in sub-Saharan Africa, where there are inadequate health services and a lack of money for proper treatment. The problem with tuberculosis, as infective as it is, there are treatments available. However, more and more cases are popping up each year of antibiotic-resistant tuberculosis. Common antibiotics include methicillin, penicillin, So, let's look at some definitions that could come up in the exam and put them into context. Incidence or incidence rate. This is the number of new cases there are per disease, per population, per year. I.e. number of new cases of tuberculosis per 100,000 people last year. Prevalence is the number of people currently living with a certain disease. Mortality is the number of people who die from a certain disease in a year. Morbidity is the number of people who die from a certain disease in a year per population, i.e. per 100,000 people. A common question they could ask you, they'll give you a definition of a word and ask you why this relates to something else. For example, why is location and incidence rates important in finding out about a disease? This allows the government to target treatment at certain areas. This allows them to target more education on certain areas and certain diseases. This also allows them to target research at specific diseases and finding cures. 